bankroll mom. Okay. Okay. And Mic check one two one two. I got it's me and my cousin and we coming through you to mean. your city. You know how we do every day Saturday. You know what we do. Hi guys. Yo yo yo. This Back. is Nikki Chocolate. This is my cousin. This is my little baby cousin. I'm so proud of her. Like, I love her so much. And I wanted to introduce her to you guys. Um, we're coming today to actually talk to you guys about Quantico. If y'all know what show that is, that show is so freaking bomb. The bomb. That's a good show. It really is. And we've been drinking. We've been drinking. You know, so we all have Beyonce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's feeling it. Hey. I can't say the rest of it because you know yeah. I don't know if I remember. But anyway. she doesn't remember. It's okay because I probably don't either. So it's, it's good. But anyway, we just wanted to do a review on Quantico. She put me on. She was like, "Jazz, you gotta see this show." And I'm like, "What? What? I seen the previews." And I was like, mm, "Eh, eh." But it's pretty good. Like, and then now she show. watched it. She's like, "Hey." So you went from F to A. Turn up. Turn up. For real though, it's a really good show, and actually tomorrow Sunday is the final it's the season finale, season finale or mid season or something like that, right? They was calling it something. It's gonna be over for a few months. Few months, yes. Yeah. So it's like a little finale. We find out who the killer is. Pretty much, let's just talk about the beginning and um, what it's about. What it's about. You want to start or I start? You can start. Okay. <laughs> so. Pretty much, it's this chick. She's really pretty. Her name is Alex. She um, wants to be in the FBI or whatever, but pretty much she hides it from her whole family or whatever. So she sneaks out there um, to go to the FBI training, um, which is at Quantico Bay. Quantico Bay. Um, it also takes you back. So it's kind of one of those shows that like it rewinds and it shows you the past and what happened like to different characters in the past or whatever. And she found out that her dad was in the FBI, so this kind of prompted her to go to the FBI to find out more about her dad because she didn't really know too much about him. Um, what else? Comes to find out that, you know, without doing a spoiler, but she ends up being the one who actually killed her dad. She does. And yeah. she didn't really know much about him. No. So when she went to the academy, she ended up meeting this whole, a, a new family and ended up becoming an FBI agent. Pretty much, pretty much, yeah. So she she killed her dad because he was a drunk and he was abusive to her mom. So that's the reason she killed him. And then she's trying to find out more about why he was going so crazy and why he was like a drunk and like, yeah, like beating on her mom and shit or whatever. So she goes to Quantico or whatever. Um, before she gets there, though, she meets this little cutie. cutie. Oh, he is so fine. He's cute. Um, I don't even know the actor's name, but he hella fine or whatever. And, um... She smashed him. She met him on a plane. She smashed him, and then she was like, "Deuce." She just she, wanted it. She didn't, yeah, she didn't she want was, a relationship. Like, you know, he more he more wanted a relationship. You know, you know that's getting quit. So you know, so that's what she did. And then she gets there. She see that he's there. She like, what? Like, oh my gosh! Like, I'm you following me. I must got that good done. girl. I know. I was, I was one and done. She must got that good. That she thought. I know about that good girl. You know me. <laughs> anyway, guys. Okay, so yeah, pretty much she meets, well, she sees him again, and then there's just a whole group of different people, different characters throughout the show that are have their own little secrets, like she got her own little secrets, and pretty much throughout the show, like each person has their own little secrets exposed, like, like in the beginning of the first few episodes, one of these dudes just like shoots himself in the interrogation because, room. Well, we have to say why he did that. He did that because... They had this act. They had this activity um, where they had to find out about one another. Yeah, and then a hidden secret. A that hidden secret about they didn't another. tell FBI. Right, and so if you had secrets, you were scared. If you didn't have secrets, then you weren't. Well, everybody yeah. had secrets, so yeah, everybody, so everybody was, scared. was scared. And so one of the guys had clearly it must have been a really big secret. And he actually he didn't want he, he raped to... somebody at one of the little camps. I, like, he was in something. That no, he that to... wasn't the same one. It wasn't the, the guy who that... killed himself. The guy was prom like acting like he was gonna say something that was like so detrimental. And, yeah. And he but he didn't say it. He says I know. He so... didn't know though. He the didn't... dude that was doing it to him, he, he didn't, didn't know. know. But the dude that killed himself, he knew on the inside that he had had sex with like a 14 year old girl in a concentration okay. camp back in Africa somewhere where he was being like a missionary. So that's why he killed himself. He thought the dude no, but the dude didn't really know. He was just right. 
Talk to just him. Talk to yeah, him. just you know, trying to get him all riled up and stuff, which worked. It definitely and he worked. Ended up killing himself because of it. And killed like another lady that worked for the place. Like it, it was cray cray. And I was like, oh my gosh, it, it caught me. You know, caught me by surprise. I was definitely like, this show is hella good. Like, yeah. not because he killed himself, R.I.P. But no, like it was just yeah, it was definitely something that caught my attention. I was like, okay, this show is something that I can binge watch and I pretty much binge watched the next four episodes. Right. You was watching that it episode. every night. I you know, I had to catch up. I haven't even so I got to do that. But the episodes are one hour long. Yes. Um yes, Sunday true. nights at eight. Sunday night was it eight o'clock? I think so. I thought Most it was shows come on at well, eight. I don't even really watch it on Sundays. So now, as after they start going over each character and the character's background, now they fast forward to where they are at the now time. that they have mm-hmm. passed the FBI Academy. So everybody pretty much graduated. Besides a few main characters, yeah. which we're just not going to totally expose, but some of them graduated. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, majority of them graduated so far. Yeah, and they're all agents and now. They're all agents. So... What ends up happening is the main character, Alex, she's placed at a crime scene where actually there was a bomb that went out. Yeah, somebody wow. framed her. And they're saying, like, because I think she has, like, a little Pakistan, Middle Eastern people. And um, she spent some time in Pakistan or somewhere after she murdered her father. So she spent nine years. And one of the years she was unaccounted for. She wasn't with her family, so she disappeared. So they're thinking that she's actually now a terrorist and um, that person, whoever knew that information, they used that to frame her. So, Which most of the people from the academy knew that she was an account yeah. for one year. Yeah. So that's why they're suspecting that it's somebody from the academy who actually really did set the bomb off. But has been proven that Alex, you know, was framed. Yeah. So she's, she's hella smart, though. She's really good. Like, she's... She... In real life, she should be an FBI agent, for real, for real. Because she's bomb. But her character is just so bomb. Like, she really found it. a way to get out of, like, every situation that they have put her in. And she even, like, turned herself in. Like, they wanted her dead. But she, like, found a way to stay alive throughout several episodes. And uh, she pretty much convinced them and told them, like, I'm not the killer. Like, I'm not the terrorist. I'm not the one that blew up Grand Central. And there's another bomb out there. So right now they're trying to figure out, you know, who's the person that built the second bomb and if it's going to go off, when it's going to go off. And they're trying to save that. And then she's trying to clear her name as well and try to figure out who that person is. And so the the thing that I thought that was really good about the show is that it actually shows you how the characters are. Like it yeah. really, it really does a good job with showing the characters' personalities. And everybody has their own secret, like mm-hmm. so it follows them like throughout when they was little. And then you're like, well, is this person the killer? Is this person the killer? Like it throws you each episode. It's like, okay, I thought I knew who the killer was, and now I think it's this person. So who do you think the killer is? To be honest, I think that the killer is one of the twins. So there's these two like Pakistani chicks. Um, their secret was that they were twins. So they was trading off acting like they was one person. And then it came out like midway through the um, season or whatever that there was two of them. So then they let like, they opened it up to for to have both of them in the, um, the little, what was it called? FBI in training. Yeah, in the program or whatever. So I actually think they're the killers. They planned it off, and if something wasn't right because, like, they had a mission or whatever after, you know, they all became Asians or whatever. They had a mission to, like, be with these other Pakistani people that were planning a hit on America. And the sister, like, one of the sisters slept with the dude, like, the main dude. And then the other sister, they just showed in a few episodes back where she went and smashed, like, she didn't go smash, but she went to the hospital, and she was, like, kissed him on the forehead to visit him and stuff, and I'm like, okay, so y'all both own him right now? Like, what does that tell you, though? Twins share. Not, not knowingly, because the other sister got her, like, why was you at the hospital? Well, I seen you at the hospital. Why are you there? Like, and they're watching us, so, like, now you gotta detail and tell us why you're there. Yeah. Like, it's why, why was she there? Like, and it, then she, she was she feeling salty and she was like, that's why I fucked him. And he was like, I mean, this other sister was like, oh, you did? Like, word? Like, I love him. And it was like, okay, well, um, there's only one. Me, so, two of y'all. Yeah. 
know. Clearly, he didn't love you the way I mean, he, he loved you. I mean, he could have just did that, you know, but, you know, that, yeah. that, that ain't nothing.